Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, and today we're going to be doing a magazine pouch review. This one in particular for Tactical Tailor. The two particular types, the Tactical, Tactical Tailor Universal Magazine Pouch, where this one doesn't match in color because it's almost impossible to find brown anymore. So, if you own them, cool! If you don't, then, uh, well, good luck, and maybe if you have a ton of money, it'll be okay. So, there's the Universal Magazine Pouch, which will hold a majority of magazines, with a few exceptions naturally. Obviously stick mags and stendos are going to struggle to fit in here, but M4 ma mags, AK mags, and a few of the other Scar H, Scar L, other... Well, I Scar L is still M4 type, but you get the idea. Larger magazines will still fit in groups of two, and the M4 magazines can fit up to three. So, there's this type, which I like a lot because it's got the elastic... Er, not the... I always say elastic. It's Velcro. Although there are elastic bands down here that are adjustable so that you can keep better tension on your magazines to keep them from flying out when the pouch when the flap is open. In addition, what's a bit easier to find is the more specific, what they call the AK, the 308 magazine pouch, which is incredibly similar, but it has a buckle. So this type, obviously, if you need to get access to your mags, you gotta click the buckle. Which is really secure if you like buckles. I'm not really a large buckle sort of guy. You pop that open, you've got your retention neoprene, whatever sort of material here that helps keep the mag from slipping about. And then you've got your little opening. This type does have a drainage grommet. Grommet, if you get a lot of water in these or whatever. So that's kind of nice. You've got your, you can see where the elastic band goes through and you can tighten it and everything. Simple little setup. But that's pretty much it for the clip type. It'll stay closed as long as it's clipped. It's not going to come on, open on its own free will. So if you need mags, then you get mags. But closing it again, if you want to retain that extra mag, it's going to be a bit more of a pain. So generally the AK-47 and all that larger sort of ammunition type, although it will, much like these, hold the same 3556 or 2762. But you've got the clip now, so you're not going to be doing as many crazy dynamics, but it has great retention, and also has the little cutaway opening here, which makes it easier to grip the magazine from the side. Now these ones, however, have a little, have a little pull tabs, you need to get access to it, but that cutaway makes a huge difference in getting the magazine out. So, on the back you've got the single spacer, it's one, two, three, four, five, five spaces all together, it'll cover the entire triple space sort of set up on the front here, so... And these are relatively long. They're the Tactical Tailor little tab clippies that I don't know the official name of because I never go into these videos prepared. So there you have it. So this one is a bit easier to find. They're relatively inexpensive for the most part. And these work out well if you like the clip. As for the elastic types here, you've got the same sort of material to hold everything together. You've got a little Tactical Tailor tab here. I've got only two magazines in here now, but as you can see, if I sort of pull this forward, you can see where there's space for one more. I can make three fit. You could also stack them in different means if you so choose. You can also stack them this way if you want to have them sort of, uh, if you want to stack three, it's generally easier to do it this way so you can keep them closer to your body and whatnot, as opposed to three just kind of like sticking out farther that way. But they work out well. If you look inside here, which is kind of hard to do because I'm wearing it, but there's also the retention material all around the magazine pouch on the sides here and up on the front back here. So the magazine, even when this is open, is not terribly inclined to fly out and do its own thing. Now these are airsoft mags, so they're not nearly as heavy, but the added weight plus the high friction of this will keep them in place. Also you got the elastic bungee to keep everything nice and tight. And again, the cutaway makes it very easy to just sort of reach in there and pull the mags out at your discretion. And you can fit three. Actually, let me go ahead and grab one over here. Now, if we loosen the bungee up here, we can make a bit more space for it. And these are larger than your aluminum mags. This holds three aluminum mags without any problem. But for three, you're really kind of packing it in there. But as you can see, it does fit. It bulks out. A wee bit more. Nothing too crazy, a little bit of extra girth, but instead of carrying six mags, we can now carry nine, which is kind of cool. If you ask me that ability to change, you can even just carry one mag, like we have here, and with the way the 
Velcro works. It'll kind of close up on its own. You can resecure it if you like. But that one extra mag isn't going anywhere without its, even without its buddies. Oh my god, here. So yeah, it does make the draw a bit more difficult, but nothing too crazy. Nothing you can't handle with just a wee bit of muscle. So, absolutely fantastic pouches. Like I mentioned, there's open tops and tacos and everything. Other fanta There's fantastic magazine pouches out there, and they each do their own thing. With open tops being more of a CQB going through a building, need rapid mags, rapid magazine reloads, and these ones, especially with two, the Velcro does stick up a bit on its own, so you don't necessarily need the pull tab to get access to it. You can generally, even when just shooting, you can still just reach your hand under here underneath the Velcro, you flip that thing open, you grab the mag you want, and yeah, you do it in one smooth motion, and this will also naturally fall back down, and it'll keep your remaining magazine secure. Because losing ammo generally sucks. Now, one of the other things I did mention, there's the grommet on the other type. If you look here, no grommet. Apparently, they just fill up with water, and your magazines become inundated, and that's it. There's nothing you can do about it. Why there's no grommet? I don't know. I'm not technical tailor, but I've gone through a bunch of different magazine pouches, and ultimately, after my good buddy uh, Redbeard, I think he's going Demon of Ogimi or whatever title he has now, he sent me these two here, and I absolutely fell in love with them, which is why I also got this one. Although finding one in brown is nay impossible, I did, however, someone placed under the wrong nomenclature in the entirely wrong name. But without doubt, it is one of these, and it's on order, so when it gets here, I will have a matching set. As opposed to this special child here, who's just kind of tagging along for the ride. So, yeah, um, the buckle type again. So, another key feature on these is they do have two bits of molly on the sides. Now, what would you attach there? The hell if I know. Maybe a flashlight or whatever sort of single pistol mags if you want to carry them on your plate carry as opposed to a belt. I've always got a grenade belt on these so I generally don't worry about a handgun. It's not nearly as, well I, I mean they're still useful in airsoft but I'd always prefer Polar Star with grenade launcher so. Elastic bands, and you've seen the way these little buckle clips work. If you used anything from Tactical to Taylor before, just lift up this tab here and you pull this free, you weave it in between. Simple. Very, very simple, very to the point. The cutaway makes the mags easier, and you got this. You could swap this out if you really, really wanted to, or replace it if the elastic gets weak. And you've got your little clippy here. That's surprisingly durable. What the hell is this even made out of? I don't know, but it's whatever that super strong, resilient plastic. I don't think it's ABS, but it's whatever that plastic is that's super durable. Oh, what's it say? It says... Patent pending... Oh wow, that's tiny font. Durafe? Durafe, yeah, like Durafe. Anyway, cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff, ooh. And yeah, you can carry like nine M4 mags. You can carry six AK mags. You can carry six of your larger DMR mags. Whatever you want. And the ability to switch between the two fills me with joy and elation. And I am very happy. But yeah, just want to kind of give you guys a quick rundown. I like three of these just because it's a solid number carrying six to nine mags is a good option to have. Again, Polar Star. If it wants to be making its classic appearance and having the extra ammo is always a plus, especially at 45 rounds per second, which is absolutely obnoxious. And I'm, honestly, after, after playing with it a bit, the fact that the mag is emptied in like two to three seconds, it might not be a bad idea to tune it sort of down to like 15, get a extended sustained fire for close to like 12 seconds as opposed to like three of ungodly fury up in the air still up for debate i don't know if you guys used polar stars before i mean if you want to use this for a real steel review then even real steel wise fantastic mag pouches highly recommend them and with soft pouches like this when they're nice and set up like this you don't have any crazy admin pouch or anything going on you can do the relaxation setup assuming your rifle is safe and secure somewhere but this is fun. This is just a great sort of way to like stand around. And it makes a small little table if you want to, I don't know, do you put your coffee mug down. Probably not the stablest, but options. So yeah, fun magazine pouches. If you didn't know they existed, well now you do. And as opposed to all the other magazine pouches I've used before, I'd recommend these. The bungee type is okay, because they do keep your magazine secure. 
but you've got to push the bungee out of the way before you can access your magazine. So you're making like this weird push and pull as opposed to just a single semi-fluid motion of up, rotate, grab, up. Simple ditties make all the difference. So, uh, this one's kind of dirt. Not this one. This one's kind of dirty, but that shouldn't affect as you can see. I may have the durable thing. They do make a fight light version, which is the weaker 500 quarter as opposed to the 1000. 1000 is objectively better, but the 500 is lighter. And if you like it, then hey, cool, it's cheaper. So whatever, you do you, all do me. We won't do each other. We'll have a good time. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully, if you have any questions or anything about it, feel free to hit me up. I would recommend these over pretty much all the other magazine pouches I've used before, particularly for price, efficiency, security, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Cheers, stay chivalrous. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.